Hello students, welcome to Narayan P. Pollex online classes. In the previous episode we completed rate expression, rate law, order, and the rate constant. So in this today's episode we will discuss uh, what are the units of the rate constant, how we will find out the order of the reaction from the units of rate constant. We will go for the next topics. So we will start with the units of rate constant. Units of a rate constant. So, if you want to take a general equation, A plus B D equalizes to C C plus B D. I will write that rate is equal to A into concentration of A whole product into concentration of B whole product. You know this is the rate expression or rate law. Now, I want to write here. K is equal to rate by concentration of A whole for X into concentration of B whole for Y. So here I want to write here X plus Y is equal to E and I write. So the sum of powers of the concentration of the reactant is called as order of the reaction. I will write here X plus Y is equal to N. What are A and B? A and B are called as reactants. So here for A comma B are reactants. A and B are what? Reactants. So how I write here? A rate is equal to K by in the reactant place, I will write what here? Concentration of the reactants are not. Okay, the closing background is the concentration of A, is the concentration of B. Both are the reactants. So what is the reactants? Concentration is there. So instead of that, what I want to write here? I want to write here concentration of reactants whole for air. Concentration of the reactants whole for air. Now, here we are writing both are reactants so, only. The reactant I am writing concentration of the reactant whole for air. What is rate unit generally? Rate unit is what? Change in the concentration of the reactants or products per unit term we are calling as rate of the reaction. So what are the units of rate and units of rate what you can write here? Units of a rate is equal to mole, liter inverse and second inverse. You know this unit. We are not discussing the rate of reaction. Now we want to substitute this one. K is equal to this is mole liter inverse Second inverse by concentration. What are the concentration? Concentration unit is what? Mole per liter. What is the unit of concentration by mole per liter? So mole per liter I will write here. Mole per liter whole mole. How will we get here? Concentration units. Concentration units is equal to you will write here, mole per liter. That I will substitute in this formula. So K is equal to this is small, this is liter inverse, and this is second inverse by mole power EM. Mole per liter means liter inverse on mole per N and liter power minus. So from this we will write K is equal to mole, this is liter inverse, second inverse. This is mole power minus n and this is liter power n. Now from this what do we get here? K is equal to mole power you can take power 1 is n. So this is n now minus 1. How do you write here? Mole power 1 minus n. And this is liter power n minus 1 second n or so. So what are the units of liter power Suppose you are taking nth order. You will get K is equal to mole power 1 minus n liter power n minus 1 second plus 1. So this is the general unit of which one now? Rate constant. Mole power 1 minus n liter power n minus 1 second. So what is n here? What is n? N is equal to order of the reaction. From this formula we write n is equal to order of the 
So this formula is very very important for us. So why here uh, we want to get the units uh, by taking the order. N value, you know, order zero order is there. First order, second order, third order, fourth order, like that. You can take nth order. You will get the different types of the units. So this is what this is the unit of the rate constant. K is equal to mole power one minus n liter power n minus one. Second inverse what is n here? N is equal to R of the reaction. So we write the uh, uh, n value you know, one here. N is equal to zero, one, two, three, and so on. N to the power. So if you take zero order reaction, what are the units you will get for the rate constant? If we take first order, if we take the second order, like that we will identify. Very important for the object to question. So if they will give the units of the rate constant, from that you can identify order of the reaction. What is the formula important for us? This is the formula. What is the formula? Uh, K is equal to units of K is what? Mole power one minus n, liter power n minus one. Second, well, this is what? This is the units of each one. Rate constant. So let me get the formula units of this rate constant. Mole power one minus n, liter power n minus one second power. This is what this is the units of rate constant. Suppose I am taking here zero order. Zero order means what here? N is equal to zero. So this is the units of rate constant. I will take this equation. K is equal to Mole power one minus n, liter power n minus one second is what are the n value? N value is zero. Substitute the value. Mole power one minus zero, liter power zero minus one second goes. From this what you will get? Ma? Mole liter goes and second goes. So what are the Units of rate constant for the zero order reaction. For the zero order reaction, you will get mole liter inverse and second inverse. If you go for the first order reaction, for first order, what is the n value? N value one. So you can take this one. K is equal to mole power one minus n liter power n minus one second inverse. So K is equal to what is the n value? N value is one. Mole power one minus Is here. This is liter power one minus one. This is what now second verse. So mole power zero, liter power zero, it value one unity. Then you will get K is equal to second verse. So this is for which one? This is the units of the rate constant for first order reaction. For first order reaction. If you go for a second order reaction, third example I am taking for second. Order reaction n is equal to two. N is equal to two. Always know it. You for for understanding, you can use the formula mole power one minus n liter power n minus one second inverse. So n is equal to mole power one minus two liter power two minus one second inverse. From this, what do we get? Do we get uh, mole inverse liter and second? So this is what this is the units of rate constant for second order reaction. If you go for the third order reaction, for third order reaction, the n value is three. From this you will write that K is equal to mole power one minus n liter power n minus one second inverse. So K is equal to I will write here mole power one minus two. So this is three, na. Mole power one minus three, liter power three minus one, second inverse. From this you will get a mole power minus two, liter square, and second inverse. Okay, so like this you will get the units of rate constant for the zero order, first order, second order, third order, like and third order. What are the units of the zero order reaction? Mole, liter inverse, second inverse. What are the units of the first order reaction? Second inverse. What are the units of second order reaction? Mole power minus one liter power one second inverse. What are the units of third order reaction? Mole power minus two liter square. What second inverse? So for nth order. So for nth order we can write the same formula. For nth order, what are the formula we are using? This one. So for nth order, K is equal to mole power one minus n liter power n minus. 
minus y seconds. So very important only from these units chances are there to get one question okay in the problematic part or the one more question they are asking you directly by giving units of the rate constant they will find the they will ask to find the order of the reaction. So you suppose if the uh, in the chemical reaction suppose the gaseous reactants and gaseous products are given okay gases reactants and what gases products are given in that case you have to use one formula in the form of atmosphere in case of gases reactants are products okay so a is equal to right here atmosphere over 4 upon minus 1 second inverse atmosphere over 4 upon minus 1 second inverse this is the formula you this is the other formula you know the other present is you want atmosphere in that case this is the units of the rate constant you take substitute n is equal to uh, 0 1 2 3 and so on n is equal to 0 first case n is equal to 0 means what are writing set? 0 of reaction. So k is equal to react atmosphere on 4 0 into 1 second inverse. So you will get uh, atmosphere second inverse. If you take the first term, first term means what? n is equal to 1. Then what will you get? So k is equal to atmosphere on 4 on minus 1 second inverse. k is equal to react uh, second inverse. If you take the third term, n is equal to second term. If you take n is equal to 2 means 1, it is the second order reaction. So k is equal to atmosphere over power 1 minus 2 second inverse. You will get here atmosphere by 4 minus 1 and second inverse. So like this, you can write for third order, right? And this is the third order units. So these are the units of which one? Ray constant. Okay, so by using this one, we will solve some of the questions. See by combining all this, make it the one table the reaction order units of the rate constant. Rate constant, you know, that is k. If you take a zero order reaction, order is zero. What the units you will get? You know the general formula. What is the general formula? Mole power 1 minus n, meter power tn minus 1, second inverse. What are the units are there here? Mole divided by second inverse, here mole. 0 minus 1, 0 4 minus 1, same inverse. What is the order of the reaction? 0 order of the reaction. If we go for the first order reaction, first order reaction 1 minus 1, 0, and 1 minus 1, 0, what do you get? Second inverse. If we take the second order reaction, second order mole power 1 minus 2, later mole 2 minus 1, second inverse. So mole power 1 minus 2 means what do you get? Mole inverse. Here 2 minus 1, later power 1, second inverse. That is the inverse I given. If we take a third order reaction, third order means 1 minus 3, that is minus 2, whole power minus 2, 3 minus 1, power 2 liter square, and second inverse. So finally, I wrote here, and thought of whole power minus a liter power and minus 1, second inverse. So this table is important. From this, uh, some of the questions are given like this. Identify the order from the each of the following rate constant. What they ask? Identify the order from the each of the following rate constant. They ask the order, what will be given? They give a units of the rate constant. From this, you can identify order of the reaction. So the first one is given K is equal to 2.3 to 10 power minus 5 liter mole inverse second inverse. Second, K is equal to 3 to 10 power minus 4 second inverse. And the next 5.6 into 10 power minus 4 mole liter inverse second inverse. K is equal to 7.8 into 10 power minus 4 mole power minus 2 liter square second inverse. What they are asking? They are asking order of the reaction. Order of the reaction. So you write the answers for these uh, questions. So first one and second one, third one and fourth one. You see the first one what is given? Liter mole inverse second inverse. Liter mole inverse second inverse. So liter mole inverse second inverse where it is? Liter mole inverse second inverse it is concerned to what are the second order reaction? What are the one? First one is one, second order reaction. And the second one is given second inverse. Second inverse means the first order reaction. So second inverse is there. What order of reaction? It is there. First order reaction. Now we we'll see the third one we have. 5.6 to 10 power minus 4 more liter inverse second inverse. More liter inverse second inverse. More is there. 
Little verse is there, second verse. Okay, what is the order of the reaction? The order of the reaction is what? Zero order of the reaction. Now we see the fourth one we have. 7.8 to 10 power minus 4, mole power minus 2, later square, second verse. Mole power minus 2, later square, second verse. What is the order of the reaction? The order of the reaction is what now? Third order of the reaction. Okay? So like this, you have to identify what? If the units of the rate constant is given, you can find out order of the reaction like this. Now we'll see the next one. We have example for the order of the reactions. We are discussing zero order, first order, second order, third order, like we discussed. So here you can see the order of the reactions. Suppose I want to hear the reactant in reference to the products. So how we will be here? Uh, rate is equal to K into concentration of R1 power 0. Here by for zero order reaction, we are getting power 0. So from this you can write here the rate of reaction is directly proportional to the zero power of the concentration of the reactants. So the idea from this I will write here rate of reaction is directly proportional to the zero power of zero power of concentration of reactants zero power of concentration of reactant I will take the equation like this yield utilized to B rate is equal to K into concentration of B whole power zero so the line so what are the examples for this uh, zero order reactions? For zero order reaction, you can take the reactions which are carried out in a metal, in presence of metal, or the reaction can be carried out in presence of sunlight. All those reactions comes under what reactions? Man? Zero order reactions. So I will take an example here. H2 plus Cl2 gives rise to 2 HCl. If the reaction can be carried out in presence of sunlight, it is comes under what order reaction? It is comes under zero order reaction. Okay, how can I write here? Rate means here. A rate is equal to concentration of H2 into concentration of Cl2. Here power zero, power zero will write. Okay, and one more you write here. Decomposition of H I in presence of cold surface. Or you can say cold metal. Decomposition of H in presence of a gold surface comes under what order reaction? But zero order reaction. From this you will write rate is equal to K into concentration of HA whole power C. And one more thing here is decomposition of ammonia. Decomposition of ammonia in presence of platinum catalyst here 1100 uh, attain KV and we get here N2 plus uh, H2. Here what is rate is rate is equal to K into concentration of NH3 whole power C. It is order of reaction, but it is a zero order reaction. Zero order reaction. And one more example also can take here decomposition of N2O also can take. N2O gives in presence of a modern surface. We will get N2 plus half. Uh, so all these are examples of what? All these are examples for what? Zero order reaction. Can I get rate is equal to K into concentration of N2O whole power C. Okay. So this is first part, which one? Zero order reaction. All these are experimentally determined. We cannot write the order of the reaction by seeing the psychometric quotients can be present in the given equation. That is wrong. These are what? Experimentally determined. After confirmation of experimental determination, then only we get this example. Next, you can go for the first order reaction. Okay. So, for first order reaction, now we can write here. Suppose I am writing here A plus B gives rise to product. Or you can write one more equation A gives rise to products. So from this, you will write the rate is equal to K into concentration of your power 1. Concentration of your power 0. That one depends on B. Or from this, you will write the rate is equal to K into concentration of A whole power 1. How can we define the definition here? The rate of the reaction is directly proportional to the first power of concentration of the reactants. So from this, you will write. Rate of reaction is directly proportional. It's directly proportional to the 
फर्स्ट पावर ऑफ फर्स्ट पावर ऑफ कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ रिएक्टेंट्स सो दिस इज व्हाट दिस इज व्हाट इज द डेफिनेशन फॉर व्हाट फर्स्ट ऑर्डर रिएक्शन लेट अस सी द एग्जांपल फॉर दिस फर्स्ट ऑर्डर रिएक्शन डीकंपोजिशन ऑफ अमोनिया सॉरी डीकंपोजिशन ऑफ हाइड्रोजन परऑक्साइड so i will take the h2o2 to be replaced to i will write here h2o plus o2 i will take this one to h2o to be replaced to to h2o plus o2 from this you will write uh, rate is equal to k into concentration of h2o2 for the power of the first order reaction i am going to take the here decomposition of h2o5 2h2o5 is replaced to 4 and o2 plus o2 From this, you will write the rate is equal to K into concentration of into O5 whole power. This is also an example for what? This is also an example for what? First order reaction. Next step: decomposition of ammonium nitride. NH4 and O2 gives rise to N2 plus 2H2O. From this, you will write the rate is equal to K into concentration of NH4 and O2 whole power one. Whole power. So one more example also we have acid hydroxy ester hydroxy sulfate and one more decomposition of sulfuric acid also okay? and four one I am taking here the SO two CL two gives rise to the SO two plus CL two so K is equal to K is equal to K into concentration of SO two CL two whole power one and one more you can see here the ester hydroxy ester hydroxy is an acidic medium that is comes under first order reaction. Yeah. Ester hydroxis. The ester hydroxis in acid medium. What do you mean by acid medium? Okay. Okay. If you want to carry out the reaction, the ester hydroxis in acid medium, it follows what order? Man, first order reaction. What are the formula? The formula is CH three CO goes into H five plus H two O in presence of H plus H two H two CH three CO O H. Plus C two H by O H C two H by O H. So in this case, what are the other things that we are doing? It is equal to K into concentration of C H three C O O C two H by O H or what? It depends on only S S does not depends on the water. Why we are taking water in the form of H S M O. I will give one or two examples of it in the first order. I will give the explanation for that. So decomposition of hydrogen peroxide, decomposition of ammonium. N two O five decomposition of ammonium nitride and decomposition of SO two Cl two and acid hydroxide. These these are example for what? All these are example for what? Man? First order reactions. Yes. Examples are there, right? Some more examples for this of first order reaction. Hydrogenation of ethene. So ethene we have C H four plus H two and we get what? C two H six. So from this we will write rate is equal to K into concentration of CH two H four or what? This is the first order reaction. And one more disintegration of radioactive reactions. So radioactive means are there some more than they are radium. This is eighty eight under two hundred twenty six. Under more radioactive disintegration, then you will get uh, one more particle. One more particle. What will you get? Man, two H four plus you will get an oxygen gas. Right? Oh, you will get here eighty six. And what do we get? Ma, triple two. It is an ordinary triple two. So this is what disintegration of radioactive reactions. It follows what are reaction follows first order reactions. So from this we will write the rate is equal to K into radium one power one. So all these are example for what first order reactions. Let us see that next year, third one we have second order reactions. Second order reactions. So we will write here U plus U minus two products, or we will write here now two A U minus two products. You write. So from this we will write that rate is equal to K into concentration of U or product, concentration of U or product, or we will write rate is equal to K into concentration of U or product. Clear? You will take two of the reactants, or you can take any one of the reactants. You will write the expression like this. What is the definition of this one? Rate of reaction is directly proportional to the second power of the concentration of the reactants. You will write this. Rate of reaction 
directly proportional to directly proportional to second power of second power of concentration of the reactant second power of the concentration of the reactant let us see some of the example for this uh, second order reactions clear okay so what are the example for this uh, second order reaction example we will take one example here ester hydroxis in basic form first example i am writing ester hydroxis in basic form the first example ester hydroxis in basic medium so previously we discussed ester hydroxis in basic medium we follow first order but basic medium follow second order so what the ester here ch3co co2 required plus nnaoh is equal to what do we get by here uh, ch2 H5 OH plus CH3 CO. This is the ester hydroxis in basic medium. So here what you can take, you will write that right here. Rate is equal to K into concentration of CH3 CO over CH5 over 4 1. And here concentration of NOH over 4. So this is the number of one. This is the number of one. Second order reaction. Okay. And one more day, equation decomposition of H M right here. Decomposition of H M gives rise to H two plus five. So for the same reaction, you can use a gold surface that is zero order reaction. If you are not using a gold surface, this comes under what second order reaction. From this, you will write that the rate is equal to K into concentration of H M one power two. Concentration of H M one power. And let us see one more example we have. 2N2. So 2N2 I am writing here. 2N2 plus O2. So we are going to get rate is equal to K into concentration of N2 over 4 2. And you can take 2 Cl2. Same here means we are getting here 2 Cl2 plus O2. Then what we get now? Rate is equal to K into concentration of Cl2 over 4 2. So these are examples of Alma. All these are examples for second order reaction and one more example also you can write here 2 and 4 2 and 4 gives rise to what one 2 and 4 plus 2 gives rise to 2 and 4 what again rate you can write rate is equal to k into concentration of and 4 to whole power 2 so all these are examples for what second order reactions next we have third order reactions so i will write here E plus B plus C gives rise to products. And one more you will write 2A plus B gives rise to products. I will write one more here. B gives rise to products. You can get an expression like this. From this I will write that rate is equal to A into A over 4 1, B over 4 1, C over 4. So from this you will write rate is equal to K into concentration of A over 3. So from this you will write that rate is equal to K into concentration of A whole square and B power 1. So all these are what? All these are third order reactions. Okay. What are the definition of third order reaction? Rate of reaction is proportion, directly proportional to the third power of the concentration of the reactants. So we will write here rate of Reaction is directly proportional to the third power of concentration of reactant. Third power of the concentration of reactant. So this is the definition of the third order reaction. Let us see the example for this. Uh, third order reactions so I will write one example here 2NO plus O2 this is your reverse reaction I am writing here 2NO plus O2 is equal to what one you will get what 2NO2 so you will say here rate is equal to K into concentration of NO whole square 
and concept of relation of O to O or one. And one more example as you see here, two and O plus C. Two and O plus C L will be five. So you will get a two and O C L. Rate is equal to A two and O whole square and C L to whole power one. And this is the first example. This is the second example. And third example, you can say reaction between ozone and hydrogen oxide. O three plus C N O will be five two. I will get a three and O two. So this is also an example for what third order reaction. So here value depends on concentration of NO. We will see the one more example here. Two F C L three plus S N C L two plus five two. Two F C L two plus S N C L four. So what is rate here? Rate is equal to K into concentration of F C L three whole power two and concentration of S N C L two whole power one. So all these examples for what? All these examples for what? Third order reaction. Okay, so third order, first order, second order, third order. One more is that is fractional order. We will discuss. So the next day we have fractional order. Directly we will go for the example for this fractional order. The first one I am writing here formation of H B R H two plus B R two plus rise to two H B R. So from this we will write the rate. Rate is equal to K into this is concentration of H two into Concentration of Br. So what are the concentration of H2 and Br2 means? The concentration of H2 is one and Br2 is one by two. What is the overall order reaction, man? Overall order we get here. So we get here. Overall order what we get here? One plus one by two. That is equal to three by two. One point five. What is the fraction order we get? One point five. And one more we get the chloro form. CHCl plus Cl to be rise to CCl4. So rate is equal to A into concentration of CHCl to all power one and Cl to all power one by two. So what are the order we get here? Here also like this we get one the overall order man. Overall order is equal to one plus one by two. That means here three by two. That is a one point five. Clear? One more example also we have reaction between C one C L two so C O plus C L two is equal to C O C L two so rate is equal to K into concentration of C O and concentration of C L two so C O concentration is two here or and this is whole power one by two C L two whole power one by two now we will see the overall overall is equal to two plus one by two. That means five by two. That is equal to two point. So sometimes they are asking uh, which of the following is a fraction order reaction or which of the following is a first order reaction or second order reaction, third order reaction. Like they are asking, you have to practice these equations. So all these are experimentally determined. So I give some of the mechanisms, some of the first order and second order, and give some of the examples. So the next one we have living in the complex reactions. So what are elementary reaction means? The reactions which are completed in a single step is called as elementary reactions. So what are complex reaction means? The reactions which are not completed in a single step, they will take uh, one or two steps, sometimes three steps, four steps like that. They will take one. So we'll discuss one by one. So elementary reactions. I will write here the reactions which are completed. In a single step, are called elementary reactions. Those reactions are completed in single step, are called what? Elementary reactions. And one more word here, complex reactions. So, what are complex reactions? The reactions which are not completed in single step are called as complex reactions. The reactions which are not completed in a single step are called complex reactions. Complex reactions. So complex reactions they are not coming in single step. They will take two or three steps only. 
So that way you can observe what the step shear has been means here. Slow step. And one more we have fast. Two steps are there, one is slow step and the fast step. So slow step is for that. Slow step means called a rate to determine step. Very important point. Slow step is called what? Rate determine step. So we are calling it as R B S. Slow step is called rate determine test. So from this you can find out the order of the reaction. Order of the reaction can be identified. Order of the reaction can be identified from slow step of slow step of the reaction. So that's what we are calling as. RDS for the RDS no, rate determinant step. So order of the reaction can be determined or identified from the slow step of the reaction. This is a very very important step. Okay, you know SN1 reaction, SN2 reaction. You know SN1 reaction in all two steps. Only the formation of the carbocation and another is what? Attack of the nucleophile. Slow step to fast step. So if you want to write SN1 reaction, what do you write here? Rate is equal to K into concentration of what you can write now. Now you can have a more formal. Why here? Uh, what here? The, because the first step is a slow step only. In that, how many reactant molecules of alkyl halides are involved? Means one alkyl halide is involved. So the concentration is over for what we are right. If you come to next, uh, this one, what you can see? SN1 is for what? SN1. First start. If you take the rate for second half reaction, K into what you write here? Concentration of alkyl halide. And in rate concentration of nucleophile also required. So this is what you can say here as reaction. So in this case, uh, the concentration only depends on the alkyl halide because it is the rate determining step that is what slow step of the reaction. But in SN2, the rate of reaction depends on both concentration and what? Concentration of alkyl halide and concentration of the nucleophile also. So we are calling a second order, it is called a first order. From this one we are uh, the rate we are writing SN1 and SN2 by using this uh, rate determining step, or you can say the slow step of the reaction. Very important in complex reactions, the reaction takes place in two steps one is the first step, slow step, and the fast step. Slow step from the slow step, we are identifying the rate determining, or you can say order of the reaction can be identified from what slow step of the reaction. So, this is the example. I will take one example here decomposition of H2O. So I am taking here decomposition of H2O. Decomposition of H2O I am taking here. So how the decomposition I am taking, I am taking reaction here. So what are the reaction here? 2H2O2. 2H2O2 gives rise to 2H2 plus O2 is the equation. So first of all I want to take 1H2O2 to the oxide molecule. It gives rise to H2O plus uh, nascent oxide. The equation balance. Now I want to write here one more H2O. So it is H2O2 plus concentration of oxygen gives rise to H2O plus O2 is the first step. Or step means this is the slow step of the reaction. And this is fast step of the reaction. If you want to write the overall reaction, what do you get by here H2O2, here oxygen cancel. Here 2H2O2 gives rise to 2H2O2 gives rise to this is what 2H2O plus O2. Okay, in the slow step of the reaction, how many molecules of H2O2 involved? One molecule of H2O2 involved. So from this we write that rate is equal to K into concentration of H2O2 all for one. It is what? It is a first order reaction. How? This slow step, in this slow step, number of reactant molecules is involved is one. So that is H2O2 we will get K into concentration of H2O2 all for one. So this is the mechanism of what? This is the mechanism of a complex reaction. So from that complex reaction, we are identifying what? Order of the reaction. See the next one, decomposition of N2O5. This is the equation we have done. Decomposition of N2O5, 2 n 2 5 gives rise to 4 n 2 plus O2. I will write the mechanism for this reaction. So N2O5 gives rise to. N2O5 gives rise to. I will write here, it is in the form of NO2 and NO3. So I will write this one. NO2 plus NO3. So this is what we are, this is the 
slow step of the reaction. Slow step of the reaction. What is that? N2O5 gives rise to NO2 plus what man? NO3. I will take one more N2O5 molecule here. So I will take one more N2O5 molecule. N2O5 plus NO3. N2O5 plus what man? NO3. What I want to get here? NO2 plus O2. This I want to get NO2 plus O2. This I will write 3 moles because here 3 hydrogens are there. So 8 here 6 plus 2. This is what here? This is the first step of the reaction. Now we see what are the candles on both sides? Both sides and both sides and both cancel here. Okay. Then here how many molecules are meant to open? We have 2 molecules. 2 and 2 open difference to 4 and 4 plus 4. This is the reaction. What are the order of reaction? Rate is equal to A into concentration of N2O5 over 1. Okay, here only one point will be what? Slow step of the reaction. So this is called, this is called rate determining step. What are the order of the reaction? The order of the reaction is what? First order of reaction. So these are some of the mechanisms so how these uh, complex reactions are involving in the, okay, are they involving in decomposition, how they will follow order. See one more example we have. I think this is the fourth example. Two and two is the two and two is two. What is the order of the reaction? The order of the reaction is the first order of reaction. How we say this? N two is equal to N two plus N two thousand. This is the slow step of the reaction. And we are taking one more N two plus oxygen. This is equal to N two plus O two. What is cancelled man? Oxygen oxygen is cancelled. How many molecules of N two we have? Two molecules. That is two N two plus N two. 2 and 2 plus O2. It is one order reaction, first order reaction because in the rate data mining step, how many molecules of the reactants are involved? One molecule is involved. Let us see one more example that is we can take the fourth example NO2 plus CO. NO2 plus CO gives rise to NO plus CO. NO plus CO2. So we will write the reaction here. I will take here NO2 plus NO2. I will get here NO plus NO3. NO plus NO3. This is the slow step of the reaction. And one more we are taking here CO plus NO3 gives to CO2 plus NO2. CO2 plus what? NO2. So it is cancelled, here NO3 and NO3 cancelled. We have how many molecules we have? Two molecules are there. What will be ready here? 2 NO2 plus CO. Okay, I will take this one. Sorry. Uh, this NO2 and NO3 cancelled. Then what will get my equation? The NO2 plus CO gives rise to what will get here? The NO plus uh, CO. This is the reaction. What is the rate determining step or order of the reaction for this equation? So for this equation you will write the order or it is a rate. Rate is equal to I will write K into concentration of what we have NO2 whole power rate. Why? In the slow step, how many molecules of NO3 is involved? Two molecules of NO3 involved. So what is the rate determining step? You are getting two molecules are there. So rate is equal to K into concentration of NO2 over O2. What is the order of the reaction? It is a second order reaction. For the order of reaction, man, second order reaction. So like this, we will write the mechanism for the complex reactions. Very important point. In the complex reactions, the slow step is called a rate determining step. From this rate determining step, we will find out the order of the reaction or rate expression for the given reaction. So the next concept we have molecularity. So this is one of the important concepts we have. So what is the molecularity it means? The number of reactant species or the number of reactants that may be atoms or molecules or ions. The number of reactants taking part in elementary reaction. It's taking part in elementary reaction which collides simultaneously bring about the chemical reaction is called the molecularity of the reaction. The number of reactant molecules involved, okay, the number of reactant molecules in involved in element reaction must collide simultaneously because reactant molecules are converted into products because of the collisions between the reactant molecules. 
when they react in molecules are a proper collision they will form a product that we are calling as a proper collisions and improper collisions we have guessed this in that one in the form of collision series simple definition of it right means the number of reactant molecules that takes part in elementary reaction is called as molecularity of the reaction so according to the ncert textbook what the definition is given means the number of reactant species taking part in elementary reaction which collides simultaneously to bring about a chemical reaction is called as molecularity of the reaction the number of reactant molecules which take part in elementary reaction collide simultaneously and bring about a chemical reaction is called as molecularity of the reaction or simply how can you define the total number of the reactant molecules which are involved in elementary reaction is called as molecularity of the reaction molecularity of the reaction So I will write the definition of this one. The number of reactant species the number of reacting species reactant species are the molecules are I have studied taken for the elementary reaction Take more than elementary reaction, which collides simultaneously which collides simultaneously to bring about a chemical reaction.
in complex reactions molecularity is identified from rate a rate determining step rate determining step so these are the some of the points regarding about each one rate determining step means what we know this is a slow step you know so these are the points regarding about now molecular of the reaction and give example uni molecular reactions are there by molecular reactions are there there are molecular reactions are there i'll give one one example for each of them point i'm ready molecular we may be for again right here uni molecular i will come on again get the by molecular try of term molecular acid uni molecular means here the molecularity is one by molecular means molecularity is two try on term molecular means what molecularity three we will give one example for uni molecular by molecular term So the next one is uni molecular reactions. What are the uni molecular reactions? Means for the reactions, sir, molecular reactions. Okay. For the reactions, molecularity is one. I will take here the composition of NH4 and O2. NH4 and O2 will be rise to N2 plus H2O, and I will take here PCl5. I will get here PCl B plus Cl. So what are these examples here? How many reactant molecules are involved here? One. So molecular is one. Here one. One molecule. So molecular is one. Those are examples of what uni molecular reactions. And the next one we have bi molecular reactions. So what are bi molecular reactions? Now for the reactions, molecularity is two. For the reaction. Molecular is almost two. We have to take. So, for example, for what? By molecular reaction. So, I will take here decomposition of H. Two H will be equal to two H two plus I two. And one more, I want to take here inversion of the cane sugar. C twelve H one B two or M nine plus H two O. We utilize two C six H twelve O six plus C six H twelve O six. So, in, in this amount, the active molecules are got two. Total number of active molecules. Here the total number of reactant molecules is what two. One is inversion, one is cane sugar, one is what water. If you want to write the order, it is the first order reaction. What it is? Inversion of the cane sugar. Inversion of the cane sugar is what first order reaction. What the molecularity? We take the molecularity is what two first order reaction. And the next one we have. There are. Primolecular reactions. So we can have here for the reactions. For the reactions, molecular is how much? Molecular is what? Three. Those are called as primolecular or termolecular reactions. Let us see this example here. Two N O plus four. Two N O plus four will give rise to two N O two. How many reactant molecules are involved? Three here. Two N O molecules, one half N O molecule. And one more we can see here uh, reaction between thermic chloride and SnCl. Two F E C L two plus SnCl will give rise to. We will get uh, two F E C L two plus SnCl two. How many total number of reactant molecules are involved? Here two and here one total three. Here two and here one total three. So this example of what? Ter or tri molecular reactions. See, this is the reference written on the molecular day after the what we discussed. So this is table important for the two marks in the board exam. So see the definition of order: the sum of the powers of the concentration of the reactants in a rate expression or rate law is called order of the reaction. For molecular day, the number of the reactants which is involved in the elementary reactions. To bring the most uh, polite side of the case, to bring about a chemical reaction. To write that, we we'll take a large space. So I'll cut it like this: the number of reactants which is involved in a chemical reaction. So it is determined experimentally. It is a theoretical concept. So.
So order may need not be whole number. Order may be zero, fractional, constant, negative values are there, but uh, molecularity is always whole number. So depends it depends on temperature and pressure. It does not depends on temperature and pressure. You can add some of the points. You can add from this table. Very important for the two marks. So this is the one differences between order and molecularity.